today is a big day and as you can see I have decorated a little bit. I've decorated with boxes and junk and stuff and uh, yeah I didn't decorate. But today is a big day so I have a couple of things I want to do with you and for you. Let's get right on it. But first we need to get dressed. Hey. Okay, that was that. See if we have to move all these items because I'm not properly organized, right? So we've got to move all these items because when I drive, all of that would just slide off and fall all over the place. And we don't want that. Have you gone to acquire our Thanksgiving meal? Because today we are not cooking. The supermarket is probably super packed. I guess I could be cooking. I want turkey though. Actually, I don't, I don't even like turkey really. You know, the only thing I like about turkey is dark meat. I'm a dark meat kind of guy. And uh, turkey cooks for a long time and even Especially everything on the turkey cooks for a long time. So for a single guy living in this van, cooking for a long time, you know, it's just, it just doesn't work well. It takes too much time for cooking. Uh, prep work technically, it's not that bad, uh, but then I still need to eat afterwards and I need to clean up. And it's, uh, it's already past noon, it's like 12.30 now. And, uh, and I actually want to get started with work early. I think I want to be on the road by two o'clock. So if I only have an hour and a half, yeah, there's not a whole lot of time. Uh, we will see if we can get everything that we want. What is our goal? We, my goal is I want to get both breakfast, lunch and dinner in one shot. Now I know they have turkey, but I also would like some scrambled eggs and bacon. Like four or five scrambled eggs and eight slices of bacon. Ooh, that would be yummy right now. Just a little bit of salt on there. Yum, yum. And then the turkey, all right, dark meat. Off the bone if possible, right? That would be, uh, you know, preferred. I'm very, I'm very picky here, right? It's. Uh, I'm probably not getting half of what I want. I'm probably settling for some, for something I don't actually want, which is not that uncommon. Got to, you know, pickers can be choosers, right? Actually, I, I woke up at 11 already. It was 11:07, and the original plan was to get out by 11 already. <laughs> this way, I would be there early and not interfere with uh, places getting busy. But as, uh, as is also not unusual for me, it took me another hour and a half just to get out of bed. So here we are. You know, I blame YouTube. I was watching some videos. I think I will probably, you know, I might be better served in life with living in an environment where I don't have internet access, ironically enough. I mean, my job requires me to have internet access and uh, cell phone service and stuff, right? But 
but I might be better served in an area where I don't have it because it means I have to do something with myself. I can't just grab my phone and just turn over in bed and never, never do anything. That's, a, that's an interesting thought. You know, with the, uh, with the great coverage of service these days, those places are harder and harder to find. Oh, you could say I could just turn it off, right? It's like, yeah, but it's, you know, we're human, we're weak. Don't you understand? We are weak. Ooh, they repaved the parking lot, huh? Okay. Did they repave it or did they just paint it? Well, it looks actually paved. Well, well, almost looks it look, make it look fancy, nice. Anyway. <clears throat> That was a quick in and out. They did not have dark meat the way I want it. That was a bummer. Big bummer, big boot bum 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 bummer. Okay, here we have breakfast, which is just bacon and eggs. And here we're having turkey with skin. Turkey. It's just white meat. Can you hear me? It's just white meat and skin. No dog meat, unfortunately. And then this one is breakfast. Ah, come on. Okay. This is bacon and eggs. Mm. Oh, I cooked the bacon too. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm gonna be eating my breakfast and my turkey, and then I'm gonna brush my teeth, and then I'm going straight to work. By that time, it should be about two o'clock in the afternoon, and that's a good time to go to work on Thanksgiving. It's kind of just around, just before and around the time when the stores are closing, and it's a time when people slowly get off the road. By four o'clock, four or five o'clock, no one should be left on the road. Let's go right to the heart of the issue today. Right to the heart of the subject today. What are we grateful for? What are we giving thanks for? And I don't know what you're giving thanks for, but this is my short list. I'm giving thanks for being alive. Without being alive, nothing else matters. I'm giving thanks for being mostly healthy. I'm still in the capacity of physically and mentally to do pretty much, well, 90% of things anyway. So health is a uh, important aspect. I have no true limitations. I have ailments, but no true limitations. I'm thankful for having a job, a job that allows me to make a decent amount of money for the environment that I live in. I'm thankful for having shelter, the van. It protects me from the elements. Today, when I, when I went to bed, it was about 48 to 50 degrees. I only slept with a regular blanket and by the time I woke up, it was so nice and toasty inside of my van, clear sky and all. 
I did not need, need heat. I did not need anything that a regular house can provide you. So shelter, perfect, I'm loving it. I'm also grateful for food. The food that nourishes me, in particular meat. And last but not least, I am thankful for having for having a mind, for having a head on my shoulders that still has some creativity in it, that still has some some play in it, that it still has some desires in it, some drive, some 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 imagination. I am still fantasizing about the future and I think that is important because it really that that is really the thing that drives me right if my mind was gone what would be left you just turn into something in a vegetative state and that is I think the most important part really uh, I have plans for the future and I'm consistently in the pursuit of those plants, uh, in pursuit of what I think might be happiness. Happiness can be different for all of us. So don't take my version of happiness as a gold standard for everyone else. But the drive and the, the engagement I'm getting out of that uh, that is, I think, the one thing I'm the most happy and grateful and thankful for. Without that, my life would look a lot different. And when I look around society, boy, I don't see it in a lot of people. People have, maybe people are just happily content, complaining all day. And I don't think I complain much. <laughs> <laughs> it's I can control a lot of things in my life and that's why I'm actively pursuing things right it's like the active pursuit or passive pursuit when you're pursuing things passively you hope that they fall into place due to no particular action of your own but if you actively pursue things, you can make things happen. And that is kind of like what I'm working on. So I'm grateful I still have this noodle right here on my shoulders. And while it gives me a hard time at many, many times, uh, it's, it's my biggest asset. It's also my biggest liability. <laughs> so those are the things I'm grateful and thankful for this Thanksgiving. It's a relatively short list, I think. Um, what is it that you are thankful for? What are you grateful for? Is there one thing that sticks out that is perhaps different this year from other years? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, if you're spending the day with uh, family or friends, uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're spending the day at work, have fun at work as well, right? Just because it's a work day does not mean you have to be miserable. Misery is a choice, so is happiness. And if you're spending the day alone, um, well, I hope you choose to be alone. You know, for those who don't have family or friends, you know, that sometimes there's no other way around. You're going to spend the day alone. Um, do something. Do something with yourself. Pursue something. Read a good book. Watch something on TV. Watch. Be intentional. You know, that's kind of like my only recommendation I have. Be intentional about doing something that creates or provides happiness to you instead of just sitting there and hoping something good is going to happen for you. Um, and that should be it for the day. Um, you do you. Enjoy your turkey if that's what you're into. Eat something different if that's what you're into. And um, you all have a wonderful day and I see you next time.